Hey there. In this video, I was going to talk about Tesla software release 2019.40.50.7. However, it's just a bug fix, so nothing to talk about. So instead, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to see if I can drive from my home to the home of Shakespeare, Stratford upon Avon, 100% on autopilot. Welcome to Digitech. That dirty Tesla. So a shameless plug for dirty Tesla there. Uh, if you haven't checked out his videos already, he makes some awesome videos. I'll put a link in the description to his channel so you can check out his Tesla videos, they're great. So a bit of a spoiler alert, obviously the car will not take me from home to Stratford-upon-Avon 100% on autopilot, but don't turn off just yet. Um, I reckon I can get more than 90% and maybe even more than 95% from here to Stratford on autopilot. Let's see how we get on. So obviously I am going to have to drive out of my drive and um, onto the main road because autopilot is just a driver assistance technology right now. It's not a full autonomous thing, although I don't think that's really too far away, maybe another year or two. Um, here's hoping anyway. So uh, let's just get this bit out of the way. Straight on the main road, straight onto autopilot. So I will count the mileage or the time between the garage and the main road. Probably accounts for about 20 or 30 seconds of activity, but we're on autopilot now. We will leave it on autopilot as much as possible and um, we'll just look at the points where I have to intervene and see how we get on. I'm still on autopilot right up to this roundabout. Um, autopilot's still on, the car has stopped because the car in front has stopped and now I have to take it off and take over to get around the roundabout. There are a couple of roundabouts on this trip that I will attempt to um, go through on autopilot. It's a bit hit and miss. Obviously the technology isn't yet specifically designed to navigate roundabouts for us, I know, although I know they're working on that and I know it's pretty close to coming. So uh, fingers crossed that comes soon. However, we're in the village, uh, we're back on autopilot. Uh, no markings in the middle of the road. The car's handling it perfectly well. Let's, uh, let's see how far we go. We're moving from a 30 mile an hour to a 60 mile an hour zone and the car won't automatically go up to 60 because it was first engaged at 30. So we just have to pull the stalk back, tell it to go to 60 and off we go. Okay, so it didn't like going over that hill and not being able to see the road directly over it. Uh, and so it panicked a bit and asked me to take over. Sometimes it makes that, that brow without a problem and other times not. So um, in that particular case, not. So that was one intervention, but we're back on autopilot. Let's go. coming up to a junction with some traffic lights. Uh, fairly new these traffic lights and they've gone green before I got to them. They, they were red, so I took off autopilot. If they'd gone green earlier, I probably wouldn't have taken autopilot off and it would have gone through. So uh, back on autopilot now. So we're coming up to our second roundabout and we need to do a left at this roundabout. So um, the cars in front have slowed us down. Let's see what it does. No, didn't do it that time. I've had to take over. Again, sometimes it does no negotiate that roundabout without me having to intervene, especially when it's virtually stopped uh, by the cars in front and therefore is moving a lot slower. Um, I find if it's moving any quicker than a real crawl then doesn't like it <clears throat> ask me to take over 
but then uh, we pretty much expect that. So we're back on autopilot, Let's see how we get on. Through a village, uh, 30 mile an hour zone, the car would have slowed to 30 miles an hour automatically and then without any intervention from me, the cars in front actually slowed us down, but it would have seen the signs or at least it would have known it was a 30 mile an hour zone and slowed down, but so far so good. coming to the end of the village and we'll move from 30 to 50 I think note 60 but the car is um, it was put on autopilot before um, going into the 30 zone so it automatically goes back up to fast speeds again still on autopilot it's 11 uh, actually got involved so we're doing well Coming up on roundabout number three. The car in front has slowed us down to almost a stop. No, it didn't do it. So uh, the car in front had slowed us down to almost a stop, which made me think we might get through that one. But then uh, he carried on moving while there were other cars coming onto the roundabout. So I had to take over. Back on autopilot now between that roundabout and roundabout number four which is about 50 yards in front of us let's just see what it does here we go nice and slow no cars coming around and it was trying to go left so i had to take over so far um, we haven't had much luck with the roundabouts and like i say i have on occasion been able to go through almost all of those on autopilot back on autopilot now so um, I think in these conditions and uh, with what's happening, it's, uh, it's just not loving roundabouts today. So back on autopilot, let's keep going. Mm, oh, it's getting a little bit close to that car that was half on the road. Might have navigated past it. There's another one here. Let's see how we get on with this one. Might have navigated past that one too, but I wasn't going to risk it. Never mind, we're back on autopilot in traffic. We're just coming up to roundabout number five, I think, and we're going to do a left turn off that roundabout. So, um, see if it does this one. Is a busy roundabout. This is the uh, entrance roundabout into Stratford upon Avon, Shakespeare Country, and a lot of cars use this roundabout into the into the town. So um, there's too much going on. Couldn't leave it on autopilot, but back on autopilot again. Indicator off. Let's see how we go. Oh, it was creeping out a little bit too much close to the car coming the other way. I think in a lot of these cases, the car may just about make it okay, but I think my bottle goes before the car's does. So uh, we are back on autopilot, but um, another intervention. We are going into a really fairly complex town um, and road network. And so uh, I'm expecting to have to do a bit of work myself. number six. Oh, no. Wanted me to take over. Back into autopilot. No. Lights are red. Very narrow. Time to take over again. So we've been on autopilot an awful lot. Did the journey so far. Um, but back into complex roads, not quite so hot. I'm gonna still
still push the boundaries though, so back on autopilot again. We have got a right turn coming up, so I am going to have to take over. Time to take over. Um, it kept me in the right lane at least, but we are heading into this roundabout, so any second now, I'll need to take over like that. And we're almost at the destination. So there we have it. From start to stop. The challenge we set ourselves was to get from home to Stratford-upon-Avon as much as possible on autopilot. We know we can't do 100% because we have to pull out the drive, we have to go to the main road, we have to manually operate all the junctions and roundabouts, but I thought 90 to 95% was doable and a fair challenge. How did we do? Well, the journey took 31 minutes. I took a stopwatch to all the times we were not on autopilot, which came to about four minutes. And if you look at those as a percentage, that would suggest we were on autopilot for 87% of the time, which I think is pretty damn good. And if you take into account a few things for example, at around about four, the sat nav and the autopilot tried to steer us left and keep us left. However, I was on autopilot at that point and I decided to take over and take us through the center of town and that introduced more time off of autopilot. If we'd left it to its own devices, it would have taken that left from that roundabout, it would have taken us around the town center, we would have spent a lot more time on autopilot and therefore we would pretty much have got to 90 and close to 95%. So as an example of human error having an effect on the total results, so you know, roll on autonomy, it's not gonna make mistakes like that, and in fact, it's probably gonna make us safer. So actually, I think that's quite good. Also, if you take into account that the whole journey was on village roads and country roads, B roads, then you know, that's not where the car is currently designed to do its best work, which is dual carriageways and motorways, and I think it performed pretty damn good again in those situations. So it really shows you how this technology has developed and how Tesla are bringing along autopilot really, really nicely. So I hope that video was useful and helpful. If it was, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to comment. I really appreciate all your comments and I try to answer every single one. Until next time, take care.